Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, in some spots, we have a little bit of fog out there this morning. You can see it from our North Situate camera. It may need to slow your speed down just a little bit. In most locations, visibility is at least at three quarters of a mile. North Kingstown, fog not an issue. In fact, you can see some sun as you look out over the eastern horizon. Any of these breaks in the cloud cover? It can be short lived this morning. We've got a cloudy day on the way and eventually out of those clouds, some showers, some mist and some drizzle, nothing severe, but we are expecting some light showers in the afternoon and then that rain turning more widespread during the nighttime hours. Most locations picking up anywhere between a quarter of an inch of rain and on the high end about three quarters of an inch of rain. Very uh, tolerable amounts for our local rivers and streams. Wednesday into Thursday, back to drier weather and our live Doppler radar this morning is dry. That's actually just ground clutter around the the radar site. Here's a look at some of those rainfall totals by the time you uh, start your day tomorrow morning. This is 1030. It's all out of here when we're back to sunshine and again about three or four tenths of an inch of rainfall for most at the bus stop this morning. It's dry out there right now, but fog and some increasing clouds in the afternoon. Some showers and some drizzle possible. This is mostly going to be after three o'clock. Most locations should be able to get in majority of your after school activities before it starts to pick up high pressure sliding to the east cold front approaching still have some moisture from uh, the remnants of Nestor offshore too. some of that gets drawn back northward too and so the result for us will be a gloomy day nine o'clock this morning again clouds thickening up three o'clock in the afternoon you can see those showers that are to the east so they'll spread over coastal Massachusetts and then eventually into Rhode Island as well this is six o'clock in the evening this is the rain associated with the cold front that approaches as well during the evening hours and passing through overnight. The heaviest of the rain does look to press through uh, central and northern New England during the night and waking up to some showers for tomorrow morning's commute and then clearing out. So by 9 a.m. clouds giving way to sunshine, rain moving offshore and the afternoon on Wednesday looking very nice. Well, the same can't be said for this afternoon. Now, it's not terrible, but we'll see clouds and cool conditions. Some late day drizzle and showers. Charlestown and westerly lower 60s. Wickford at about 60 degrees. And we're in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Overcast and chilly with some showers and drizzle late in northern Rhode Island. Attleboro around 58. Seekonk at about 60. And we're in the upper 50s in New Bedford. For tonight, expect some showers. Also see temperatures holding in the 50s, even rising a few degrees. We approach tomorrow morning. Seven day forecast. So a mild start to the day. Once we sh shake free of the clouds and the showers and that happens through the morning commute, we got a beautiful fall day. Lower to mid 60s on the way for the afternoon. 61 at five o'clock. Cooler and dry when you wake up Thursday morning. Sunshine in the afternoon. Nice fall day ahead for us. And then on Friday, we're dry most of the daytime. Still thinking there's at least the risk of a few showers by later Friday evening and Friday night. It does look minor right now and it looks like it'll be clearing out of here early on Saturday morning, allowing for a mainly dry but cool weekend. You'll